hello guys welcome to this week's tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to add multiple database search function into your Wix website so as you can see right over here i have a search bar and then i have a repeater that actually displays cuisines from all over the world or for some part of the world and what i want to do is to be able to search by the title by the cuisine and the location okay so everything that displays on this repeater all the text that displays i want to be able to search by so for example i want to search uh, australia and i'm going to just type in that in and as you can see australia actually displays and i can go ahead to not search for australia i want to search for tater tots so i'm going to go ahead to search that and as you can see we have that displayed by the title and let's say i don't want to actually search the title i want to search by the cuisine so i'm going to search by indian cuisine and i'm going to go ahead to type in indian and as you can see that actually displays the items that were found and when i click on the reset filter you can see that that actually resets our filter counts how many items we have and kind of brings everything back to default okay so i'm going to show you how to set this up in a minute and before we get started don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and don't also forget to turn on the bell notifications because awesome videos like this will always come your way all right so let's jump into the editor so here in the editor you can see i have my input element and i have a vector art that replaces the other represents my clear search icon okay so you can go ahead to add this icon by clicking on the add over there and then you're going to go over to decoratives and then icons so you're under here you can go ahead to search on more icons and then you can click on the x and then hit enter and you can see we have a number of beautiful ones that you can use but if you want to have more you can go to basic shapes and here there are tons of x uh, icons that you can actually make use of so that is that with the x icons if you want to add your input uh, text input element head over to the input and then to the text input and you can drag that and drop onto your website or if you cannot find the input section let's say you don't find this section over here you're gonna have to turn on your dev mode first of all and when you do that you should be able to find your input menu as you can see over here i have a count text uh element that allows me to count how many elements were found or how many contents were found as you can see we have 19 items were found but when i begin to search for something let's say snags you can see that we have one item that was found and that is actually the correct uh answer okay so the next thing you want to do is that uh, you see this item over here is actually hidden on load what i did is to I, I hit it on load because i wanted that to be hidden when the page loads and to be hidden when you click on it it only shows when you begin to type in a keyword for example you're going to search for the tater and you can see that that actually shows over there all right so the next part of this tutorial is the code section and i'm going to show you how to incorporate that in a minute uh we're going to disregard this code because this is for the um copy to clipboard api which is over here so this allows us to just copy the code for this tutorial so easily i'm just going to um comment that out for a moment i'm going to hold my control and then a forward slash and that will comment this section out okay so the code is right here right there in the description below there is actually uh a link to this uh section so i'm going to highlight everything and then i'm going to copy that and i'm going to bring it into my code and paste it over here all right so i have my code copied i'm going to get rid of this text this is not useful for me for now and there all right so we have our import uh wix data which allows us to make use of the wix data uh api it's going to retrieve our data from the database and then it's going to allow us to work with them in our code all right so you can see a bunch of errors here and i'm going to show you how to fix that in a minute uh, the first thing we're going to do we're going to use a very uh, easy way to do this because there are many occasions where we have used the search input id and it's going to be so much so stressful to go in and change them individually so you're just going to copy this by clicking on ctrl c and then clicking on ctrl f this is going to have these inputs uh, opened up and it's going to find that we're going to use also the replace function so the first thing we're going to replace is the search input so we're going to find the search input id which represents all the incorrect ids as they were replacing the code and then i'm going to go back into my code and click on my own input element 
as you can see i have renamed mine as search bar you can rename yours to uh anything else but when you do that just copy that ctrl c and then you replace when you put that in your replace you're going to click on this icon over here and that replaces it everywhere it is found in your code as you can see our code is has lesser uh fewer errors so we're going to do the same for the rest of the elements And then we are right here on the text 54 this is the element that displays our total count and i'm going to place it here on find and it found two places where it matches i'm going to go back into my code where i have actually presented another id for it and it's called count text so i'm going to place it here in the replace section and then replace and then you can see there are no errors anymore but then our code is still not working because we still need to replace a few things and right they are right over here okay so the first thing we're going to replace is the field key for the first field the field key for the second field and if we have a third field then we can go ahead to replace that before we actually do that to replace our field key i'm going to show you my database so you can see the fields that i actually want to search okay so we have our first field which is called title we have our second location and cuisine these are the only text uh, fields that i have here and i'm going to search with them uh, so what i'm going to do is to get or retrieve the field key for this field which is called title i'm going to remember this so i have another one called location this is the field key all lowercase with location and the cuisine as well is also called cuisine okay so these are the fields i want to replace if you have more than one field uh two three fields or maybe you have five or ten fields then you can do the same just copy the field key into the section and i'm going to show you how amazing this is okay so my first field is called title so this has no other you can put it in any other you want but I'm, i want to go by starting with the title and then the next one is called location all lowercase and then if i want to add the cuisine field so that it also searches the cuisine field i'm going to copy this line of code and then i'm going to hit the enter key and then onto the next line and that is how you do it for as many as you have uh you can go ahead and just paste that onto the next line and so on and so on okay so i'm just going to place mine since i have only three fields i'm just going to place in the cuisine field key all right so that solves it and that is all you need to do for the code if you have the find and replace and then you go into your your uh, database and then you replace your field key that is all you need to do but then i'm going to show you how to change this text over here so if you i'm sure not everyone has a restaurant business or website so you want to change just to something custom let's say you have a blog you're going to do that right over here so you can see here we are having a value the number of counts that we have found and then this string so this is the string that you can change and for example i want to change that to blog let's say blog uh found all right so i'm going to go back and preview this section or this uh page and as you can see we have changed the number of we, we have changed what displays after the total count was found okay and when we begin to type in our words so let's say we have um samosa so let's say samosa how do you spell that all right so that is the correct way and you can see we have one blog found so if you have a blog or you have something different maybe a training uh, academy or something then you can change the uh, text that has been displayed and right over here in case there were no text found then this is where you actually change that as well so i'm also going to change okay let's see that uh we're also going to change this to uh blog no blog found or no blogs found and then i'm going to preview and i'm just going to type in anything uh no blogs found okay so that is where you change the text and if you've done that then that is all you need to do i'm going to leave mine as no restaurant found and total number of restaurants that were found okay so that is all the code does if you did enjoy this tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification to be notified when amazing tutorials like this come up all right thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial